Well, thank you for letting us be here, and, and I think uh, my, my statement would first and foremost, I just want to say thanks to the PAC-12. Um, I think um, coming in new, uh, being around this kind of setup, uh, you guys, this kind of media attention, um, the validity and the value that you put into women's basketball uh, is something I certainly am thrilled to be a part of. It's not normal out there. It's not what most people that coach women's basketball gets to experience. So uh, clearly I just want to say thank you for letting us be here and, and, uh, and put our, our program on the platform a little bit, and, and I'm, I am thrilled to be at Washington State. I am uh, unbelievably excited to be coaching these two players that are here and the others that are back in, uh, in Pullman. Um, I think these two players representing our, our uh, program is, is perfect for us, uh, who they are, their values, their work ethic, their talent. And uh, I'm excited that you guys continue to get to know them and get to know our program a little bit. And, um, uh, but my ultimate statement would be just this is a, a new beginning and, and a new start, and I'm excited to be a part of it and, and really excited to represent Washington State. Okay, thank you. Also, want to introduce Washington State SID Ben Lasky. Um, so, if you need anything, contact that guy. And, uh, um, Please remember to wait for a microphone before you ask a question, and please identify yourself. Um, and so now we'll open it up to questions. Hi, Kevin Dan at pack-12.com. Uh, Chanel, what's it like to play with the uh, two sisters now on, on the team, uh, have three Molinas? And coach, have you ever coached a set of three sisters on a team before? Uh, I'm used to it. Uh, we played together in high school, so it's kind of a natural feeling to play together in college. Uh, we're, we're competitive, so I'll, I'll get on my sisters when I see that they're not doing their job. And they kind of won't tell me what to do because I'm like, I, I've been there before. I've done this, done that. So I'm just kind of taking them under my wings. But it's been awesome. Yeah, sure. She's the bossy one. So um, I have not. I have not coached three. Um, I had a sister that was just a year ahead of me, so kind of know the si sibling rivalry. Someone asked earlier if, if, if I could ever see them being on the court together, and I don't even think you've done that in practice. So, uh, But it's great to obviously have Chanel as the leader and, and leading them along the way, but it's, it's been a new experience for me. Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera. Uh, Coach, you, you built something pretty special uh, at Northern Colorado. Uh, program record for wins and first NCAA tournament appearance. Uh, what was it about this opportunity uh, that you felt like uh, it was a chance you wanted to go for after building up, uh, obviously, such a great team in, in Greeley? Well, I would just uh, tell you, when I went on my campus uh, uh, the, for the interview, I got, I got shown the, uh, the facilities and a little bit of pull, uh, a Pullman right the night before the interview. And I called back and said, I'm not sure this is the the, the a good situation just because of knowing what we would have to recruit against and and then I walked into a interview with Pat Chun our athletic director and 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 it's just like we all know in women's basketball it, it has very little to do with geography or the state you're in or whatever it's about the people you're surrounded by and and certainly as a coach the the person that you're is your boss the president of the university being supportive of your program and when they tell you they're going to give you time and they're going to give you every resource you need and they're going to be proactive in the things, the challenges set before the university or athletic department or anything that we might face, um, you want to grab hold of that boss and say, I want to, I want to work for you. And Pat Chun did that for me and Ann McCoy, those two people. And, and ultimately, I think they're a great representation of what makes um, Washington State so special, and it's the people there and their, the, how they believe in the program, believe in the university, and if we can build on that, we're going to do some good things there. Um, Borislava, now that you've been on campus so long, I know when you first got here you were pretty shy. You didn't really want to, you didn't have command of the English language and in interviews and stuff like that. Can you look back to where you were when you first got to Pullman and then where you are now and talk about your growth as a person and as a player and everything you've been through? 
Oh, I mean, the, the, the change, the, the progress they made throughout those years is just unbelievable. The help, the help that the program provided me, it just helped me grow as a person, as a basketball player as well. Um, and it's just, it's just been, it's just been fun being around the people. I hope my language is getting better. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's been amazing opportunity for me. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> she she understands everything, you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey Cammy, uh Joan Bombasini with Pac Twelve Networks. Welcome to the Pac Twelve. You know, this is your first year in Pac Twelve but you're an experienced coach. Okay. Um, old, old. No, yes. you're a very good coach. Okay. This is your first year. What are, you know, what do you want Washington State to be known for? And this may change later, but for this year, what do you want when people play you? What do you want to be known for? And then I have a follow-up for the girls. Well, I, that's that's great, Joan. I, I know, you know, I think more than anything, you just want to lay a foundation. And I think I'm walking into a really pretty special situation. I think the seven that stayed and, and stuck around this, this program and committed to this program and wanted to stay and wants it to become successful, that's unique even as a, as a coach that's walking in just to seven players, you know. Uh, but I think they, they represent a lot of the things that I want to be about. I think they give us a great foundation. They're committed players. Uh, they love to play. They love to practice. They want to be coached. So I, I don't think I'm any different than any other coach. We just, the culture, you hear that word thrown around all the time. We want to teach them how to be great competitors. We want to teach them how to be great teammates. And um, I think if you do those two things on the court, you know, you're building the right things. And eventually, I think winning takes care of itself. And, and uh, we're trying to do that every day. It's just walk in here, this is what, championship programs look like. This is how they practice. This is what the gym sounds like. This is this is what we need to be every single day. And, and oh, you're in a bad mood? We don't need to know it because you can't be that for your teammates. So it's just teaching them how to consistently be their very best and bring out the best in others around them. And, and that's more than anything that we're doing. We're trying to preach that message. And, you know, and I think we can build on anything else as we go. And for the players, um, you know, obviously going through a coaching chain, it's different. What are, what are some of the things that are different and how, what are your expectations for this year? I mean, uh, <laughs> our expe expectations are really high. With the new coaching staff we have, it's just, it's give us the freedom offensively, you know. It's like a free-flowing offense, more like re reading-based. You know, you just, you're just able to create for yourself, create for your teammates. Um, and just get, being able to observe Cami and Lori's knowledge, it's just, it's just a great opportunity for us, and I think it's going to help us grow as a players and as people as well. <clears throat> uh, we don't really know what to expect in the season. You know, we just know that we're going to go out there, give it our all, uh, always compete, you know, compete, stay together. And it's kind of like our foundation. Uh, that's what we said. We talked about unity, um, yeah, competing, and what was the other one? It was, was respect. Uh, respect. Respect is very important. You know, we we trust in our coaches, and we we really we have high respect for them. So, whatever they tell us, we're gonna take it in. You know, be sponges, absorb whatever knowledge they want to share with us. So, that's all we can do. Just compete out there. Give it a, give it our best. Uh, Cami, uh, Ben Parker from uh, GoldenBearPark.com. Uh, your first year in the Pac-12, you kind of touched on just kind of the challenges of joining such a competitive conference, but can you just talk about what are you most excited about being in such a competitive conference on your first year here? And also maybe what your biggest fear, or biggest kind of concern is as you enter this first year with this new conference and team? Yeah, concerns are Stanford, UCLA, Oregon, <laughs> you know, Oregon State. Name all 11 of them. Um, but excited. I mean, I, I, honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that I've got, you know, people like this, players like this, competitors like this, uh, people that have been through some adversity on my side and on our side and committed to this program and committed to the process of, of getting better every day. 
And uh, I know we're facing some of the best uh, teams in the country. Uh, unbelievable challenges. They're in year 10. They're in year 9. I think uh, Scott told me he's in year 9, and he loves his team. And he was like, why shouldn't I? Because I'm in year 9. I've, I've developed what I want in my program. Uh, we don't have quite all the pieces that we want eventually. You know, we have 11 players, in, in, but, but we have a lot of really good pieces. And I'm, I'm thrilled that, that we can, we're going to put a competitive team on, on the floor. They're going to play unbelievably hard. Uh, we're going to fight through adversity. And, um, and we're going to play a lot of teams that, that understand that already. They've already been through some high-level, uh, on top of the game experiences. And, um, but I think they're being really shy right now. But I think you're going to see a, a, they're, they're unbelievably competitive and they want to take on those challenges. So you don't sign up for the Pac-12 to come to a program like this and, and be shy or give in to understanding that you're going to play against the very best every night that you, you, you play the game. So uh, we're looking forward to that, that challenge, and uh, we're going to take it on, and we're going to see where we stand and um, hopefully surprise some people. Cami, and with the and shots with the Pac-12 networks, um, the message to you've got veterans here who you will rely on heavily. What's the message to the team, though, in terms of I'm a new coach. You didn't pick me. I didn't pick you. We're here together, let's do this together, but clean slate. Are there some athletes who are showing you something that might not have gotten a lot of playing time last year, but under your guidance and new philosophy, maybe showing you a little something? You know, I think if anything, um, I think most of our players, I mean, they might be able to speak to it better than me. As I think they feel real a brand new slate, like you said. I think they don't feel like I, – I, I look at some of the minutes played last year, or I've seen those, and I'm surprised by certain people because we certainly need those seven that were back to be ready to play and play significant minutes and significant roles that they have in the past. What a great opportunity for them. I think they're embracing that. Um, I, think, um, I think they understand – that they're, you know, the, the ones returning are really going to have to produce and, and provide us with a lot of leadership. And I think the other thing in, that you're saying in that is they're also having to learn to change some behaviors that, that we've come across in the gym that I don't think helps us be a better team or helps them be a better teammate. And so those are learned behaviors and that, you know, again, that's just my gym and what I want in my gym and what I want as teammates and what I want as competitors and communicators. And, and so those are the things that I think are the biggest challenges for older players is they've, they've, they've gotten used to one or two years in a gym and they can behave a certain way or speak a certain way and now all of a sudden it's a non-negotiable. So those are the challenges I think on a day-to-day -day basis of can we get consistently good at what I think are non-negotiables in the development of our program and I've got a I've got to hold them to that every second we're on the court. So those are the hard lessons I think that some of the older players are having to learn. Freshmen totally are having to learn it because, you know, they're, they don't speak anyway, so it's hard for them. <laughs> but, uh, but I think the older ones, sometimes it's even harder for them. And the challenge is because they've gotten comfortable in certain mm -hmm. their, in their own role or something, and we're challenging them a little bit in those areas. So. Uh, but ultimately, it's, it's good for them, and I know ultimately it's good for our program, and that's why we're doing it. Cheryl Coward, HoopFeed.com. Um, even though you're a newcomer to the Pac-12, you're, you're not a newcomer to being in a conference that's considered the best in the nation. When I, when I covered the Big 12, I mean, um, you were at Kansas State in the Brittany Griner years. So are there any parallels to that experience that you can, uh, to, to, what you are, to where you are now and you can learn from and, work with yeah I mean I think you know I think the beauty that I have at being old is again what you said being experienced uh, I really have had a lot of opportunities to be around great teams great competitors great players players that have uh, been the fourth round uh, fourth pick in the WNBA draft uh, sixth pick in the WNBA draft another year uh, all Americans player of the years in the conferences uh, and, and really highly successful team. So I certainly, as a player and as a coach, I, I think I have a good grasp on what it takes to be good and what the great programs do consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. And those are some of the programs in this, in this conference. Clearly, uh, 
they're doing things right because they're consistently in the top 10 or in the top 20 year after year after year. And, and so that's our goal is to do those things, to do the things that are going to consistently make us relevant and, uh, 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 again, the word consistency, show up every day and can we become not just a program that wins a few games every year but consistently wins year after year after year. So I've experienced it. I think I understand what it takes, and um, I think I'm pretty good at being very direct on how to, com you know, what I expect and our ex my expectations and how we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis in order for us to, to grow. Direct, I think that was a good way to say, direct. Okay, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much, Coach. Thanks Thank again. You. Appreciate everything.